guys, it's uh, Andy from Camps and Coffee. A uh, bit of a review video, this one. Um, well, basically, it's that. It's the uh, Trekology pump sack. I'll open that up for you. So this came today from Amazon. And quite a decent size. In fact, I've, I've not put a wide lens on, but just kind of give you an idea. Uh, glasses case just for a bit of comparison so it's, it's a decent size one decent size material waterproof as you'd expect the other side round it's got the uh, the outlet valve there and that is a nice little thing where you can keep it which basically once that's in he says once that's in turns this into quite a decent size rucksack liner um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's perfect. I was actually going to go buy some for my uh, Osprey Kestrel 68, but uh, no, this, this will be absolutely perfect. So it's, it's lightweight. Oh, what I'll do, I'll flash the, uh, the weights on screen now because not prepared in the slightest. It's an off the cuff video. Um, I should have really got that done beforehand, but yeah, it's decent material. Um, what I'll do, I'm going to Show it in comparison with the uh, the Trekology UL80 uh, sleep mat, and uh, we'll see how long it takes for us to uh, to bump it up. Um, previously, I've had the OEX one, and at the end of this video, I will get the OEX one out as well and just show you a comparison. I'm not going to pump the uh, bed up with the OEX one as well to show you that one because trust me, it takes an absolute age. But this bit of kit. Pretty good, and I'm really looking forward to getting out and doing some uh, some camps as soon as uh, as soon as we're allowed. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. So that's the uh, air valve. Clips nicely in there. That's two. I must say, I did have the OEX one before this, and this seems to be so much easier. Much more air in it. It's a much better fit than the OEX one as well. So that was three. Don't take much to get air in this. That's uh, four. It's not far off. I'm not sure it's going to take one more. I think we might have to get another, maybe another couple. Let's see what happens. Five. So I have seen videos before on the wrecking five pumps. No, it's not Trekology doesn't advocate five pumps, so I'm not start shouting at them. Yeah, that's nearly there. Just I reckon about half. Let's give that. Yeah, 
that's a six and a half. Six and a half pumps. But I mean, in full fairness, I don't think these, this was, uh, I don't think it was full bags. That. But no, that's uh, Butchies and the OEX one. I'll, uh, I'll show the OEX one just for a bit of comparison. You've got on the right there, you've got the OEX dry pump, and then on the left, you've got the uh, the Trichology one. Trichology one, that's uh, that was delivered today by Amazon, eleven ninety nine. Uh, the dry pump go outdoors. I think I paid about nine quid for it with a bit of discount um, on top of my discount card. But if I'm honest, it's a bit of a bit of a faff to be honest. I mean, you just have to look at the difference in sizes. Um, the Trekology one, you get so much more. Um, you get so much more air in there compared to the uh, OEX one. The OEX one, the top of it is uh, it's quite quite tight. So I'll probably just seal that bottom off and probably just use it as a. A dry bag because that's and effectively that's what it is it's a dry bag with a uh, with a, a schnozzle on the end so uh, let me know what you think in the comments below um more videos as and when i can get out really but i thought i'll do this one as a bit of a uh, a review of the uh, trichology um pump sack and uh, it's a it's a thumbs up from me for that thanks for watching see you again cheers bye